Hi everybody, my name is Taha, I'm part of Team 5795. Today is December 20th and I'm here at our build space filming a robot update video for our video series. So our team recently completed our first robot iteration and we also competed in our first official scrimmage for the season. If you have not seen it, go watch our video update about scrimmage. We pretty much talk about how our team performed and what we're planning on doing going forward. So in this video, I'll be giving an update of our robot um, and hopefully window into our design process. Stay posted for future updates and progress of our robot and its performance. Now let's talk about the actual robot. So our general robot design for this season is a single stage ramp into a fixed shooter with a single wheeled launcher. Um, we used, uh, we have a basic go build a drivetrain with odometry pods uh, to get better control of our robot. We use go build a channel as we can mount the motors we want, these anti-mark motors inside the channel as well as the sprocket and chain here, which is we found to be really space efficient. Uh, we, here are the odometry pods we use. Uh, they are non-powered uh, mini omni wheels hooked up to a digital encoder and each pod is 3D printed and we have them tensioned to the drivetrain to always hold them against the ground and get accurate and consistent readings. Uh, we discovered some problems with those encoders uh, during our scrimmage, so expect to see a different design of those pods in the coming weeks. So here we have our shooter. Uh, we initially had our shooter mounted at a 45 degree angle on our robot, um, but after some performance issues we noticed in scrimmage, we changed that to a 30 degree mount, uh, which we worked surprisingly well. Our, sh our team actually came in yesterday to make that change, and uh, now we'll roll some clips of us testing our 30 degree shooter. So as you saw in the clips, we were hitting most of our shots up close to the goal. Um, our shooter consists of a one-to-one -one slim rhino wheel with a fixed rhino wheel on the other side. Uh, we have a 3D printed magazine that can hold up to three discs, as well as a 3D printed servo arm that pushes the discs into the shooter. In our magazine, we have a slit right here for our servo arm, and then a slit in the end for the discs to come out of. We also have a, a extruded wall across our shooter, so when we intake into our shooter, it, it doesn't overshoot and falls down into the magazine. Uh, here we have our intake on the front of our robot. So we have a wide mouth with a, a go tube mounted with three surgical tubings in the front. Uh, this this tray, this 3D printed tray, leads up to our second stage of our intake, lined with the gecko wheels. So initially, uh, we th this is right now is mounted at a 45 degree angle. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really mesh well with our 30 degree shooter. Uh, that's because this made this change was made yesterday, and we haven't gotten to changing the intake yet. So I can uh, talk about some of the problems we discovered in scrimmage and our plans for the future. Um, so first off, we have our second stage made out of a, a plexiglass sheet, which uh, which is only mounted here out of. Uh, using these 45 degree go builder brackets. So this tray itself is pretty flimsy. As you can see, it's bending up and down really easily. And when we intake a disc and it's uh, traveling up our robot, if the tray bends up or down, the disc can either land, land through this slit or on top of the wheels. So that's definitely an issue we have to fix. Uh, us, in the front, we actually have this 3D printed tray. It extends too far past this go tube. So we're actually getting the disc caught on the tray before the uh, surgical tubing can actually catch on the disc and push it through our robot, uh, which is also a change we'll have to make to our intake. Um, besides that, uh, the shooter right now is working pretty consistently and we uh, do need to update the odometry pods, but those are all the changes you can expect to see in a robot in the coming weeks. Make sure to drop a subscribe on our channel and drop a like on this video. Uh, make sure to also follow our Instagram for more 5795 content, link in the description below. And of course, thanks for watching.